the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Orange, orange, orange. I'm Scott. I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. Show. Somewhere in season four where we move forth. Damn, son. We got the man himself, Spidey Thor. <laughs> Liberating. It is. It feels so good. I got this at five below if you ever want to be. Dude, that's, sorry. It's wrecking your microphone. At least the level's on it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's only hearing the audio here. I don't think it ruins the yeah. actual... Never mind. I don't want to, like... You don't want to encourage under... me in my antics. Yeah, well, I do want to encourage your you don't antics. Wanna... <laughs> but I don't want to underestimate the power of Thor's that's hammer. That's true. I am worthy, and I possess the power of Thor because... and spider Can I try well, to grab Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my... God. Hang on. Let me help you out here. Let me... Uh, there. Thank you, dude. Wow. Holy crap, bro. Oh, wait. <laughs> See, it's, it's yeah. legit. Okay, oh, my you, God. There you go. Well, it's too, it's too much for me to handle. What's up, Jenica? Welcome back. All right, so we got... Uh, what up, Jenica? Um, so Kylie Jenner, she's been exposed as a big, fat liar. We'll get into that in a minute. Space Jam 2, it's... It's happening! And Demi Lovato's found a new rock while in rehab. Ooh, what do you mean by that? Mm, well, We're going to find out. Why don't we kind of just jump right on into yeah. that one, Should we think? hit the rock? I think we should, you know, because it is uh, it is time for Demi Lovato to really, really figure things out. You know what I mean? Like, she's she's been going through the struggles now. She's in rehab and everything. Well, now, I guess her ex, Wilmer Vladimir Putin... I don't know how to say, Yeah, I don't know how to say his last name. <laughs> he uh I guess he's been Demi's rock all throughout rehab here. Hmm. Now, could this be a good thing? If he's not completely sober himself, is that really a positive thing for Demi Lovato to be around? Is he completely sober himself? Yeah. Like if he's gonna go out there and still drink and so, do some so no. like drugs and the stuff. Is no. Is it like, Definitely not. If he's if he's not sober, then that's not a good thing. Because uh, now I've never been addicted to anything before, but you know, having known, you're addicted to video I'm games. Not, I'm not physically dependent on them, though. <laughs> but having known people who were, I hear it's very difficult to you know stay away from that stuff if the temptation is there. You got to eliminate that out of your life, right? Well, I mean, you know what? Let's actually, you know, I was addicted to hanging around my. Uh, former girlfriend you know i realized that the last time i got together with her i was like shoot you know what i don't even like her as a person i just like Pita. i like being around her because it makes me feel good because it reminds me of how it was when things were good back before i discovered that she was horrible right mm. and and so i was like we're like she's she's yelling at me she's she's not saying anything nice to me why do i even want to be here i was like it's because i'm addicted to that feeling to that feeling like i'm important and i was like you know what no we're done here so we just we just Shut it down. And I think no matter what you're addicted to, that when you're reminded of the reasons why you were addicted to it, it's easy to fall right yeah. back in that hole. You're like, oh, this is how I escape mm -hmm. the pain. Oh, the numbness is better than being pain or this whatever This is what it gave is. my life purpose and meaning. Yeah, so you just can fall right back in it. You got you to gotta find your, your circle, your life circle, recognize your pattern, and once you start to fall back in that pattern – you gotta, you gotta make that cut quick, quickly to the left or the right. Oh, but let's not get it twisted here because I don't want anybody going back and saying like, "Oh, he said that you gave his life purpose and meaning." No, I'm saying oh, just like that. drugs, you didn't actually yeah. give my life any real purpose and meaning. It just, I just thought that's the way it was. It just but now it. I found real substance in the God of Thunder. Ooh, They're freaking look at Pete wow. doing the limbo, Pete doing died. the upright limbo. Yeah, so I guess uh, Demi, she's been doing good in rehab, and uh, Wilmer has da, been da, da, da. Uh, her rock. So that is the rock that she's found in rehab, not some... Not her supplier. Yeah, not... A, oh, and speaking of which, I guess they're... 
her freaking drug dealer did a second interview since like she like she overdosed. Like first of all, drug dealers doing interviews is just wild. Only in 2018, I feel like, <laughs> could a drug dealer openly admit that you sell drugs to a platform of like millions and millions of people? And then since it's a Demi Lovato related case, there's you multiply that millions by millions. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like the eyes are on that. And the dude's just like, yeah, dude, like I sell cocaine. Like I sold some drugs. <laughs> like, yeah, man. Like, you know, what do you need? You need some Percocets, bro. I got you on that I mean, lean. Like it's, it's the same thing as we were saying yesterday. When you got a porn star getting a video game trending because she compared a character in it to the president's wiener. Like, and what in the world? This is what's. This is the state of the world this right now. This is 2018. That's like, how it's going. Oh my god. Um. So hopefully Demi gets it right. I mean, if he's sober and stuff. I mean, I just think that. You know, if you're an ex drug addict, you shouldn't be around people they're, that do drugs. They're that kind of couple, though. She keeps coming back to him, like no matter what. Like they're not dating. They're not together right now. But like, they're always in each other's lives. No matter like they separate. But then they come back together. It's like the way gravity works on Thor's hammer when Thor's not holding it. Mm, yeah, like what happened to me a few minutes yeah. ago. I won't, I won't subject you to that again. Can I just try one more time to see if I am worthy here of this? Not yet. Dude, I really hurt my arm that time. Well, that's what you get for not being worthy. Oh. Wow. Let me fix it. Damn, bro. You're so mean. Wow. You're such a macho man, bro. Oh, wow. Hang on. Let me go move all your furniture so you can make fun of me for it later. Oh, bro. I'm uh. trying to rearrange my house so you come over and move it. <laughs> no. Come on, man. No, the new answer, the new blanket answer is nope. I don't move anything anymore. I'll talk crap about you. All right, fine. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, Demi Lo- or no, we just did Demi Lovato. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of in space right now since I've been hit Ooh. with Thor's hammer, and like I'm just like sounds like I'm you could all use over the place some jam. I definitely could use some jam while I'm in the space. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam, Space Jam Two. Boom! There it is. I was like, freaking. I was like, where is it? <laughs> okay, so this is actually happening. Um, there have been rumors of this for years. years. People have been wanting LeBron to, you know, star in Space Jam 2 because it's always the Michael LeBron Jordan versus James. <laughs> LeBron James. Um, Michael Jordan versus LeBron, you know, for the greatest of all time title. Um, I don't know anything about that, so I'm not going to try and argue for either one. But uh, LeBron is definitely better. The people want LeBron in Space Jam 2. And he posted, uh, it might have been on Instagram, I don't know where, but he posted somewhere. Uh, it was a shot of a locker room. Did he post that or did somebody else make it? Did you see it? Yeah, I don't know who posted it. It was like Bugs Bunny, LeBron James. So basically, he LeBron said that um, he said that it's happening. Uh, they're getting Ryan Coogler, who directed Black Panther and Creed. Uh, he's not going to direct it. He's going to be developing it. He's mm. going to be developing the story. Um, some new guy whose name I don't know and because he's a new guy is going to be directing it. But they're set to begin production next summer. So I guess summer 2020 okay. is when Space Jam 2 is going to start filming. Um, don't know that it's called Space Jam 2 um, because they said it's not going to be based on the original and it's not going to be a sequel. Ooh. So I think what we're looking at is a remake. And you think, well, how could they remake? This movie just came out. But is it was from 1990, what, 6 or 7? Uh, either way, it's over 20 years old. 96. Yeah, so we're do, we're dealing with a movie that by the time they start filming, it'll be 24 years old. Um, you know, and plus, that's just typical 2018 to take something from the 90s and remake it. It is. Like, how much more 2018 can you get? The lack of creativity, the lack of everything. I don't know. I, I want, I, I'm, I'm okay with more Space Jam. The only thing I don't want, here's what I don't want. I want CGI Looney Tunes. I want hand-drawn Real, the real deal Looney Tunes. Mm. And they did, oh, the other bit of good news is that they are trying to get Michael Jordan involved. Even though it's not a sequel, I think they want him for like a cameo. So it would probably be something like. He could be the coach. He should be the coach. Ooh, that would be good. Put me in, coach. Um, and who would you get to play the um, manager of the Monstars, the Danny DeVito character? Um, Nowadays? 
I think I would go with Charlie Day. Charlie Day would be probably he's pretty good. Dude. Sunny and Phillip, but he's actually think he'd be pretty good for it. I, I actually like that one to be honest with you. Um So yeah, that's uh that's it, the, it'll be it'll probably be if they have Michael Jordan as a cameo, it'll probably be like uh do you see the new Ghostbusters, the twenty sixteen Ghostbusters? No where like all the, the Ghostbusters made cameos. I actually thought it was quite funny. Um, most people dumped on it and said it was bad. I really don't think it was as bad as it was. I think there was a lot of hate because it was all women. Yeah. Um, and it didn't deserve the hate that it got. What's her name? Uh, uh, McKinnon. What's her first name? Kate McKinnon. Yeah, I think she's. Like she's hilarious. Super funny. So. Although the funniest, I actually, I think, I think most, I think they're all really funny. Melissa McCarthy and uh, Kristen Wiig and Leslie Jones. Um, those are the Ghostbusters. Yeah. But the funniest thing about that movie, incidentally, was Chris Hemsworth. I was like. Crying, laughing whenever he was on screen. I did not know he had those kind of comedic chops, but he does. Yeah, because he's so like dry as Thor. Right, exactly. So, but that's how Thor's supposed to be dry. Mm-hmm. It's not because he can't do right, it. Right, exactly. I want to clarify that because I am looked at as a Marvel hater, and I'm not a Marvel hater. I'm just not a Marvel fanboy. Which so, is fair. I am a Marvel fanboy. Not necessarily. Well, okay. Let's clarify this. I'm not a fanboy of the Marvel Cinematic Universe necessarily. I think they've had a lot of good movies, but I am a Marvel Comics fanboy. Marvel superheroes, as you can maybe see. I am a nerd. Mm. Thank you. Actually, I would classify myself more as a geek, but this is a nomenclature battle that I don't think we're prepared to have right here. (laughs) And lastly, today, Kylie Jenner. Yes. Look at that. Look at. Look at that's a, I believe that's a recent picture. Yeah, it has to be. I don't know. Maybe she was pregnant, or this is either like when she's pregnant well, or post. I'm not gonna make any. I'm, I'm just all I'm gonna say. I know is it's a recent look photo, at that. So I don't, I don't want to make any comments that could be classified as body shaming. So just there it is. There's a picture of Kylie Jenner. Yeah, from like recent. So how old is her baby now? Uh, well, we're pushing a year, aren't we? Is it really that? To born in like March or so. So wow. six months, okay, six ish months, I think. Well, you would think <clears> that <throat> like Kylie would be more in touch with basic things in life, right? Mm-hmm. No, actually, no, I wouldn't think that at all. <laughs> no. no, not even the basics of basics. You wouldn't think she knew about brushing teeth and eating well, cereal. Well, you will hope that and, she like, knows about good personal hygiene, like yeah, brushing teeth, and like maybe like egg scrambled eggs and. And like little stuff like that, right? I don't necessarily think she would know how to make it for herself because I feel like yeah, she maybe has know, always had a bucket. You would think she's like, she knows things. about it. Well, yesterday she comes down and she's like, yo, I've never had cereal with milk before. I mean, um, okay. I really doubt that because I, I mean, the only time yet, like, I mean, like, if you have cereal as, like, a snack, you might have it, like, without, like, You reach your hand in it. Right? Or, like, I mean, if you don't have the money to, like, get milk, maybe you're just going to have the cereal without milk or put some water in it. Um, We know that that's not the case for Kylie Jenner. But Kylie definitely has had money growing up. So here's the thing, is it sounds weird, but I could believe it. Because look at this. You're talking about a girl who grew up with so much money, and, you know, basically every move their family made was to advance the brand and they're always on tv you know like you're not talking about somebody who grew up grounded in what we would consider to be the real world this is somebody who lives in practically an alternate reality um and so it wouldn't surprise me at all if she never experienced some of the basic simple joys of human childhood like eating cereal yeah but i think that's more than childhood stuff like oh it is i mean it it, it goes into adulthood but you are introduced to cereal as a child and cereal includes milk includes milk like, are you going to deprive your child of cereal and milk? Come on, Kylie. Well, anyways, the internets, they did their work, and they went digging on Kylie's Instagram. And from <laughs> 2013, here she is with a picture of some, I'd say, Special K. Uh, Yeah, some kind of wheat or, or, or grain-based cereal. Yeah. It looks like Special K, yeah. With uh, Instead of having the Special K... Um, fruits in it which are fake that's like real fruits yeah the dried fruit yeah which i actually rather like they're not bad like, like the strawberry one the like yeah, yeah that's pretty bomb that's to legit. be honest with you anyways kylie you've been exposed congratulations oh uh, hang on actually my favorite part of the story is yourself. that there are people online who are arguing that that is not milk it's yogurt they're saying kylie's not lying because that's yogurt in the bowl can there are freaking there are kylie stands 
like we're Evan such Epstein. big fans of her that they will say, nah, nah, she never put milk in her cereal. She only did yogurt. Because, But then again, maybe that's some kind of Beverly Hills bougie thing that I've never heard of. That I'm, you know, sitting here eating my ramen noodles because I'm not the youngest self-made billionaire in the world. Mm, damn, taking shots, bro. Watch Ooh. out, Travis Scott's gonna come at you, man. Yeah, well, he. <laughs> you don't you want think him to he be in to mess with this, bro. He's in sickle mode right now. You don't Ooh, want to experience that. True, that's true. Sickle mode might match the power of Dude, the owner. Dude, he might come up and auto tune you to death. Would he bring Drake, Juicy J? And Sway Lee. Well, Drake's only going to come if it's an opportunity that he can gain from it. Like, you know, like when Drake was first doing his tour, he used to bring Travis Scott out like every weekend mm. on tour because he had the number one album in the country and everything. But now he's moved past Drake because, or uh, Travis. Travis and to Who's got Meek number Mill. one right now? Oh, it's, okay. Yeah. You know, Drake is just an opportunist. Well, you know what? If he does, if Drake does show up for the brawl, I'm going to put Jimmy back in that wheelchair. So you better watch yourself. <laughs> that's my guy all right so that's it for today's uh episode of the cubicle show this week's episodes of the cubicle show a little revamped little tuning to the cubicle show sorry dude if that like hit me you know, i know how, like, it would have driven you through the floor. i would have been in so i apologize that's why i'm cradling it like a like a like a babe in swaddling clothes wow um so yeah, so hopefully you enjoy. I don't know. Maybe you didn't, but if you didn't, I, oh, I had really a good care. time. So I yeah, it's, good I was time, about so. to say that's so why I don't really yeah. care. <laughs> Listen, there's a target demo. As long as we hit the target demo of us, that's all that matters, right, John? <laughs> Yo, look at that smiling. Right. Look at those two mugs. Oh, man. One on top of his shoulders and one in his hand. Damn. So. <laughs> I think it's a good shot to end the cubicle yeah, show. Right on. There. <laughs> there's the screenshot for the show. <laughs> Okay, so we'll see you next week, Monday through Thursday, Jam's Facebook page, 1030 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. <laughs> One. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show. Cubicle show! That's what I'm talking about, boy. Bill and Scott Cubicle show. Yeah. Bill and Scott Cubicle show. Yeah. Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a Cubicle Show. Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Yeah. Cubicle Show. We just got one. Boy! <laughs>